For the Journey to Mars, the Human Research Program works to project, assess, and solve the problems that astronauts have in space. Specifically for radiation research, the Human Research Program works to predict and mitigate the health effects of space radiation on astronauts. I think one of the most challenging parts for the journey to Mars in terms of the humans and not necessarily the technology to get there is the risk of radiation exposure and the in-flight consequences of the exposure to radiation as well as the long-term health consequences of exposure. There's two parts of radiation we have to protect the crew from. One is a solar particle event where there's a solar storm and these energetic particles stream out. Fortunately, we know how to protect the crew from that. We put them into a shelter that's shielded by lots of water. And actually, they're very short in duration, hours to days at most. They can come out and continue with their journey. That's the one aspect of radiation we know how to protect against. The other, which we really don't have a firm handle on, is galactic, cosmic rays. These are highly energetic particles that come from all over the galaxy towards the solar system and Earth. You can't shield against these. They're so energetic, they rip right through all metals, all plastic, all water, and all cellular material. And as they rip through these materials, little electrons and protons pull off of them, and uh, you end up getting a cascade effect of radiation throughout the materials. And sometimes going through certain materials causes a worse radiation environment for the crew that had gone through other materials. So we try to design the spacecraft out of materials that shield the crew from these, but also do not produce more hazardous particles as a function of being impacted with it. So a lot of people think that radiation will keep NASA from sending people to Mars, and that's not what the current situation is. We have techniques, we've discussed ways of getting there faster. We know that we add these various mitigations up, that we can have a successful Mars mission, a healthy crew, and have them live a very long and, and productive life after they return to Earth.